Good morning, children. Good, Good morning, morning, Teacher Gemma. Are you ready for today's lesson? Yes, yes. we are. Great. Now, let me ask you this question. What are the thing or things that you like to do? Blair. I like to do dancing. Good. How about you, Bianz? I love swimming. You love swimming. Another. I love cooking. Okay, Blair loves cooking. How about you? I also love dancing. Okay, she loves dancing. Now, Bianz, let's, let me ask you this question. Why do you like to dance? Because it is fun and enjoying. Very good. Because dancing is fun and enjoying. How about you, Blair? Why do you love to cook? So I can cook to my family. Because you want to cook for your family. Yes. You want to cook something for your mother and father, as well as to your brother and sister, isn't it? Yes, it is. Okay, very good. Now, last time, we have discussed about verbs. Now, I have pictures that I'm going to flash on television and I want you to identify the action or the things that they are doing in on TV. Are you ready, children? Yes. Okay, we shall start. Take a look on the TV. What is the action that the girl is doing? Blair. She is dancing. Good. She is dancing. How about this one? Yes. She is washing. Okay. She is. She is. Washing. Who do you think is washing here? The girl. The girl? Mother. Or maybe a mother. Okay. Good. How about this one? What actions that you can see the children are doing on the TV? Blair? The girl is reading. Okay. This girl is reading. How about this little boy? Yes. He is getting something in the bag. Okay, he is getting something from the bag. Okay. Now, how about this one? What is the boy doing? Blair? The girl is swimming. Okay, the girl. Why did you say that this, she is a girl? Because she has? A long hair. Okay, she has a long hair. As you can see, while she is swimming, her hair is what? Long. Floating. Floating. The long hair is floating. So she was able to tell that this is a girl. She is a girl. Okay, very good, Blair. How about this one? Yes. She is. Uh, he. He is lying. Okay. The little boy is lying. Why do you think? What is on his mouth? Thermometer. Okay, thermometer. Now, why is it? Why do you think there is a thermometer inside the mouth of this little boy? Because he is sick. Okay, because the little boy is sick. So, we use the thermometer when? We are sick. We are sick or when we're having what? Fever. High temperature or when we are having fever. Did you understand? Yes. Okay, let me see if we still have another picture. How about this one? Yes. The girl is kicking the ball. Okay, kicking. So what action is she doing? Kicking. Okay, kicking. Kicking the ball. Very good. For this one. They are reading. Okay, they are reading. Or what do you think the lady doing here? She is teaching her son or her son to what? To read. Okay, to read. So what is the action that they are doing? Reading. Reading as well as teaching. Did you understand? Yes. Okay. Now all of the words that you have mentioned or all of the things or action that they are doing here on TV, all of them, we call them action words. Now, who can tell me again, what is an action word? Or what another word that we can use that shows action? 
Yes. We call them? Verb. Okay, we call them verbs. Can you please say it in a complete sentence? The, the other word of an action word is a verb. Very good. Verb is an action word or another word for the actions being done is what we call verb. Okay, let's clap our hands. Now, on the board are group of sentences. I want you to study the sentences on the board. Are you ready now? Yes, we are. Okay, now let's read all together the sentences here uh, that we have here. Sentence A, B, and C. Okay, everybody? The boys played last night. She swims every morning. I will eat my favorite food tomorrow. Okay, good. Now, let's take a look on the sentence A. The boys played last night. Now, what is our underlined word here? Played. Okay, very good, Blair. The underlined word is played. Now, can you think of another word that we can replace to this underlined word? Yes, Bienz. Prayed. Okay, prayed. Pray. Okay, very good. Another word. Dance. Okay, dance. Okay, now let's read again the sentence using the underlined words or the words that you have given to me. Okay, again. The boys played last night. The boys prayed last night. The boys danced last night. Okay, very good. Okay, children, what are the underlined words in sentence A? Played, prayed, danced. Okay, these are the action words, isn't it? Yes. Why do you say so? Because they are showing action. Okay, very good. Because they are showing action. Now, do you think these actions happened already? Yes. Why do you say so? Because of the time expression last night. Okay, because of the time expression last night. Meaning to say, these actions happened already. Isn't it? Yes. yes. Now, take a look on our action words. If we are going to... What? To have it at our regular verb, this will only be pray, um, play, and dance. Now, since these actions are already done, what have you observed to our verb or to our, our, to our action words? What did we add to make it happen in the past? We add ED. We added, again, can you please say it in a complete sentence? We added ED. Okay, let's see. For the word or for the action word play, we added ED to make it in the past tense, isn't it? Yes. Okay, we added ED. How about for the word play? Play. We also added ED. Okay, we also added ED to form its past tense. Now, how about for the word, for the action word dance? What did we add? Take a look. Then we form its past tense. This is the regular form of the word dance. What did we add to make it in the past tense? We also added in the same as the other words. We added the same? So you mean we also added ED for the word dance, for the action word dance? The only. The okay. We only add, or we only added 
D to form its past tense because dance player is ended with E. Ended with letter E. So there is no need for us to add another E to form its past tense since it's already ended in letter E. e we only added it D to form its past tense. Okay? So meaning to say this sentence in letter A they are actions that shows the what? They are showing past action. Meaning to say the actions are already done. So, these are the word or the word play, pray, and dance shows past what? Past action. Did you understand? Yes. Okay. It shows past action. And we added D or ED to form its past action or to form its past tense as well as the time expression last night. It can also be last week. What else? Yesterday. Oh, yesterday. Can you give can you still give me another time expression that shows past action? Last year. Last year. Last week. Last day. All the time expressions that shows past actions they should be included here in what? Sentence A? Because sentence A shows past action. Did you understand? Yes. In other words, this verb here shows the past actions or they are in the past tense. Okay, what tense are they? Past tense. Again? Past, past tense. tense. Okay, very good. Now let's take a look on sentence B. Let's read it all together. She swims every morning. Okay, she swims every morning. Can you think of another action word that you can replace to the underlined word? Sings. Okay, sings. What else? Dances. Okay, dances. Very good. Now, let's read again the sentence with, let's read the sentence and then you are going to replace the action words that you have given to me. Okay, all together. She, she swims, swims every, every morning. morning. She, she sings every morning. She dances every morning. Okay, now take a look on the underlined action words on sentence B. What can you say about the action that she does? When you say she swims, when did the action happen? In the morning. In the morning. So meaning to say every morning or habitual, habitually, the action is doing. Did you understand? Yes. How about sings? Every morning. Okay, still every morning. Meaning to say the action is doing every morning. Habitually. So when the action is doing habitually, we call them what? What tense of the verb is this? Present tense. Okay, this is in present tense. Okay, when we say present tense, Meaning to say, the action is still? Doing. Okay, doing. The action is still doing. And it is doing every day or habitually. Now, take a look on our action words. What happens to our action word? Or what did we use? Or what did we add to our action word? The action word ended with S. Okay, ended with S. So, we added S to our action word. Okay, why did we add a, uh, why, why did we add S? Take a look on our subject. It is what is our subject? She. Okay, our subject is 
She. How many subjects do we have? One. Only one. So meaning to say, if we only have one subject, our verb in the present tense must have, have S. Must have S. Okay, very good. Like this one, she swims. Now, how about if we have two or more subjects? We don't add S. We don't add S anymore to our action word or to our verb. For example, a mother and father. Mother and father buy food every day okay let's read this sentence together mother, mother and father, father buy food, food every day okay now what is our action word here buy okay our action word is buy how many subjects do we have blair two okay we have two subjects not what are our subjects Mother and father. Okay, mother and father. So since we have two subjects, we do not add any more S to our verb. Okay, did you understand? Yes. yes. Okay. Now, when did the action happen? It e happens? Every day. Okay, every day. Meaning to say it happens habitually. Every day. Now, this action words here are in the present tense okay they are in the present tense it shows present actions now how can we identify if our verb is in the present tense because of the time expression every morning okay, every every morning or every day so we can identify our verb or action words in the present tense if we have the time expression what Every day, every morning, every night. Okay, is it clear, Blair? Yes. Did you understand? Yes. Okay, very good. Now take a look on this sentence C. Let's read all together. I will eat my favorite food tomorrow. Okay, now what is our action word here? Eat. Okay, our action word is eat. Can you think of another action word that we can use to replace the underlined action word? Blair. Cook. Okay, cook. What else? Buy. Okay, buy. Now let's read again this sentence. See, replacing already the underlined word and the words you have given to me. Okay, I will... Um, I will eat my favorite food tomorrow. I will cook my favorite food tomorrow. I will buy my favorite food tomorrow. Okay. Now, what have you observed to this sentence? Did the action happen already? Not yet. Okay, not yet. Why? Why did you say that it did not happen yet? Because of the time expression tomorrow. Okay, because of the time expression tomorrow. Meaning to say, the action did not happen yet. No, it will happen on the following day, next year. Okay, now what did we add aside from the time expression? What word did we add to show that this action will happen next or the following day. What word did we ask? I, I mean, what word did we huh? added? Blair. Yes, Bianz. Will. Okay. We also use the word will. No? Where did we place the word will? Before? Before the verb. The Okay, very good. Before the action word, we place the word will before the action word. Now, since this action did not happen yet, in what tense is this? Future tense. Okay, this is in future tense. Okay, 
This is in future tense. Now, when we are writing sentences in future tense, we use the word will plus the verb as well as we also use the time expression tomorrow. What are other type expression that shows future action? Next year. Next year? Next month. Next month. Very good. What else? Later. Later. Tonight. All the time expressions that did not happen yet, they fall under the future, future tense. tense. Okay. Did you understand children? Yes. Okay. Now, what are the three tenses of the verb? Blair. Past tense, present tense, and future tense. Okay. We have three tenses of the verb. They are the simple tenses of the verb. We have the past tense, we have the present tense, and we have the future tense. Now, when we talk about past tense, what can you say about the action? When we are talking about the past tense? The action already happened. Okay, the action already happened. Did you understand? Yes. We add the or ed e to our... Verb. verb plus our time expression. Do you understand? Yes. Now, how about for present tense? The action is still doing. Okay, the action is still doing. And if our subject is only one, for our simple present tense, we add what? We add S, S to our... I mean, when the subject is only one, we add S to our... Verb. verb. But if the subject is more than one, we do not add any more. Now, how do we show the future tense of the verb? How do we show the future tense of the verb? By adding will before the verb and the time expression. Okay, very good. Again, what are the three simple tenses of the verb? Past tense, present tense. All together. Past tense, present tense, and future tense. Okay, very good. Did you understand, children? Yes. yes. Do you have any question? None. Are you sure? Yes. Okay. Now, let me see if you really understood our lesson for today. Okay. I have prepared sentences here for you to work on. And this time, let me see if you really understood our lesson. Or the lesson that I have already discussed to you about the different tenses or the three simple tenses of the verb. Now, as we are going to read the sentence by number, you are going to tell me if what tenses are the sentence belongs with or what tenses of the verb that we have in our sentence. Is it clear? Yes. Okay. For number one. Blair, can you please read? I will attend the party on Monday. Okay. I will attend the party on Monday. Blair, in what tenses of the verb is the first sentence? Future tense. Okay. I mean, in what tenses of the verb is our verb in the first sentence? Future tense. Okay. It is in the future tense. And very good. Why future tense is there? Because it will happen on Monday. Okay, because of the time expression on Monday. And our verb is? What is our verb for the first sentence? Party. Is it party, Blair? Are you sure? Attend. Okay, attend. Our verb attend and we also use the word will. So if we have will plus the verb and the time expression that did not happen yet, meaning to say our sentence or our verb is in the future tense. How about for number two? Okay, let's read all together. She? She baked cookies last night. Okay, in what tense of the verb is this? Past tense. Okay, this is in the past tense. Okay, why past tense? Because? It 
ended with D. Okay, and then, our verb, what is our verb here? Baked. Okay, our verb, baked, ended in, in ED, with, with ED, I mean. And what is our time expression used? Last night. Okay, our time expression, last night. Okay, for number three, let's read all together. Mother will bring me to the mall next week. Okay, what is, or in what tenses of the verb is this? Future tense. Okay, this is in the future tense. What is our verb here? Bring. Okay, bring, and we use the word will. And what we, what is our time expression? Next week. Okay, next week. Now for number four. Father Jude will preside the mass on Sunday. Okay, now what is our verb here? Preside. Okay, our verb here, our action word is. Preside. Or in what tenses is this? Future tense. Okay, this will be, or this is in future. Okay, future tense. Why future tense? Because of the time expression on Sunday. Okay, our time expression on Sunday, we also use the word will. How about for number five? Aunt Nelly danced gracefully during the party last year. Okay, now what is our verb in this sentence? Dance. Okay, dance. Now what, uh, in what tense of the verb is this? Past tense. Okay, past tense. Very good. Why did you say past tense, Vienz? Because we added D. Okay, we added D and that as well as with our time expression. Last year. Okay, last year. Now for number six. She reads her favorite book every evening. Okay, now what is our verb here? Reads. Okay, reads. In what tense of the verb is this? Present tense. Okay, present tense. Why present tense? Because of the time expression every evening. Okay, because of our time expression every evening. And we have only how many subjects? One subject. Okay, we have one subject. Therefore, our verb is with? S. Okay, very good. How about for number seven? We will join the parade on journalism on 20th of this month. Okay, we will join the parade on journalism on the 20th of this month. Now, what is our verb here? Join. Okay, join. In what tense of the verb is this? Future tense. Okay, this is in future tense. Why future tense? What day is today? Because... Why? This will happen on the 20th of this month. What is the date for today? January 18. Okay, January 18. So, meaning to say this will happen on the 20th. So, therefore, the action did not happen yet. So, this will happen in the future. Very good. Now, how about for number 8? We sing our favorite song before we go to bed every night. Okay, what is our action word here? Sing. Okay, sing. Verb. This is our verb. So, in what tense of the verb is this? Present tense. Okay, this is in the present tense. Why, Blair? Why present tense? Because it has every. Okay, because of the time expression every night. Meaning to say the action is happening habitually. Okay? Now, the number nine. Everybody? Mrs. Jones jo joined the choir last year. Okay, what is our verb here? Joined. Okay, joined. In what tense of the verb is this? Past, past tense. Okay, very good. Past tense. Why past tense? Because it happened last year. Okay, because it happened last year. Very good. Now, how about for number 10? Everybody? I brush my teeth every after meal. Okay, I brush my teeth every after meal. What is our verb here? Brush. brush. Okay, brush. Now, what tense of the verb is this? Present. Okay, this is in the present tense. Why present tense? Because of the time expression every. Okay, because of the time expression 
every after meal. So, meaning to say, every after you eat, you are brushing your teeth. So, still, the action is habitually doing. Did you understand? Yes. I think you are now ready to work on your own. Now, let me see. I have prepared here your timeline chart. So, this is your timeline chart. Now, what are you going to do with this? Okay, let me explain to you. Okay. My timeline, or this is your timeline chart. So, this timeline chart shows the things that you are doing in the past, present, and end in the future. For example, what I did, meaning to say you already done past tense, what I am doing, meaning to say you are still doing present tense, what uh, I will do, meaning to say the things that you will do. This is the future tense. For example, I watered the plants yesterday. So yesterday, for your timeline chart, you did the watering of the plants. Okay. So our verb here is? Watered. Watered. And the time expression used is? Yesterday. yesterday. Therefore, this is in the past tense. Now, example for present tense. I am reading my favorite book every morning. So, every morning, you are reading your favorite book. Your verb here is? Reading. Okay, and you th the time expression you use is every morning. Now, for your timeline, in the future tense, I will attend the birthday party of my friend on Saturday. So, your verb here is? Attend. Attend plus the word will and on Saturday. Are you ready to work? Yes. Okay, now let me see. Who can come here and write your timeline? Write your timeline for the past tense. Yes, Blair. Or you will just say to me. I'll be the one to write it for you. What will you do? Or what are the things that you already did? Think of the things that you did already. I went to the river yesterday. I, uh, you went to the? River. Okay. So, I, because it's you, no? I went to the river yesterday okay i went to the river yesterday how about events i watched a movie last week okay i watched a movie last week okay now for your timeline chart in the present tense. Blair, what do you usually do every day? Or every night? Every afternoon? Eating. I am watching YouTube every day. Okay, I am watching movies huh? on YouTube every day very good how about the events I am praying every night okay very good I am praying every night okay very good how about for the future tense for your timeline what are the things that are already in your mind and you are going to do this next week, maybe next year, next month? 
Think of the things that you are going to do that you will that you will do in the future. I Beans. will be swimming at my birthday. I will be swimming at my be birthday. swimming. I will swim at my birthday. On my okay. I will swim on my birthday. When will be your birthday? March 20. Okay, I will swim on my birthday on March. So we are still January, meaning to say the action will be done in the near future. Isn't it, Benz? Yes. Okay, how about you, Benz? I will cook. The dinner later. Okay, I will cook dinner later. Okay, did you understand now? Yes. Is it clear? Yes. yes. What are the tenses of verb? Past tense, present tense, and future tense. Okay, they are the simple tenses of the verb. Can you already identify if the verbs in the present, past, or future? Yes. yes. Are you sure? Yes. Okay, very good. Now, for your assignment, I have prepared here a chart. Okay. Can you please read the directions or the instruction for this activity or for your assignment? Complete the, ta the table below to show the correct simple tenses of verbs. The first one is done for you. Okay, so your assignment to be submitted tomorrow will have 10 points. Okay. So, for the past tense, for example, I walked to school yesterday. Okay, I walk to school every morning. I will walk to school tomorrow. So, you are going to complete the table here. Okay, for example, Jim texted his friend last night. So, what do you think is the present tense for this sentence? Jim texts his friend every night. Okay, Jim texts with S his friend every night. Okay, every night. And for the future tense? Jim will text his friend l later. Okay, very good. So that will be your assignment. I want you to do that when you reach uh, home. And then you are going to submit it tomorrow. If you have got the correct answer of course i will give you 10 points did you understand yes okay children that's all for today Thanks. do you have any questions none any clarifications none okay very good goodbye children goodbye, goodbye. teacher Gemma. okay goodbye children see you all tomorrow thank you